Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got the game man. Yo yo, you know his album is dropping tonight, right? He says it's gonna be the greatest album of damn near all time, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk about that a little bit. And um, the, uh, that, that whole situation with the game trolling Eminem man through his daughter. We gonna talk about that for a hot second, man. We also got um, uh, G Herbo ready to knock somebody out, man. We got um, uh, Wendy Williams, man, getting caught out there in a while. Um, uh, and who else we got over here, man? Um, the Oscars producers uh, responding to Will Smith's apology and Kodak Black. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that, too. All right? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Um, I was looking at my, my numbers yesterday, man. You know what I'm saying? My subscriber count, man. My jump was at like 321,254 or something like that. And then I refreshed it, and it said 300 uh, and, and 21,140 something. I said, wait a minute. It was just at 254. Now it's at 104. You mean to tell me I lost 100 subs? Sometimes it be that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, but yo, man, double check your your, your 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 subscription, man, just in case if you already subscribed or stuff like that. Sometimes you know folks be getting unsubscribed for some strange reason. Anyway, let's get right to it. Setting you off with your boy R. Kelly. Hey, look, man, R. Kelly. R. Kelly is in is, is in deep this time. <laughs> you like, yo, wasn't that the problem to begin with? Yo, bruh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, I mean he's in deep-ish. And, and, and hopefully it ain't that kind of party now. Now look, anyway, um, the man got a 30-year sentence for racketeering and sex trafficking. And as uh and he was also um given court ordered fines that rack up to approximately 140,000 bucks. Now, the man did have $28,828 in his commissary fund. But the Bureau of Prisons seized $28,328. Do you hear what I just said? So he started with $28,828, but they took $28,328, leaving the man with only $500. Bucks. Now, his lawyer is furious about this. And, um, and look, and this is what she says, man. She says, um, uh, I had it over here for a hot second. Hold, hold, hold on, let me see if I can. Okay, here it goes. She says, she posted an article, and the article goes, um, the, the, the Bureau of Prisons confiscated the majority of Mr. Kelly's funds, trust today, uh, with no notice to him and without any court order. As you know, EDNY judgment is on appeal before the Second Circuit. Please advise whether you have any information regarding what authority exists that allow the Bureau of Prisons to confiscate this money. Where did the money go? Was the receipt provided to my client? Please provide any information available about taking Mr. Kelly's funds ev uh, without even any notice. Now, she also added, what did she add? She also added, could the government be more unethical? After seizing his funds and after sending this email, the EDNY News decided to file a motion to confiscate his trust account money. You're supposed to do that before you take the money. Okay, so they're supposed to file a motion before they actually take the money, but they took the money first. Ain't, ain't that wild, man? Like, 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 here's the thing. Once you commit, like, this is, this is what I be trying to tell folks, man. Once you commit a crime, right, you expose yourself to the penal system, okay? Whose, whose job it is to enslave criminals. Slavery is supposed to have been eradicated unless you decide to commit a crime. Listen. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, it says, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude will exist in the United States or any place subject to the jurisdiction of the United States, except as a punishment for a crime of which, you know, someone is duly convicted of. And, and taking your, your $28,328 without asking is a move that I expect to be done to someone that's in the slave-like conditions. Are you following what I'm saying, man? It's like, I expect them to do that to a slave. You, you, look, don't look at me like that, man. It, is it or is it not what the 13th Amendment says, man? F with crime and run the risk of being turned into a slave. Which reminds me, man. I, I got to get my taxes dead. You know what I'm saying? Check this out, man. I'm, uh, listen, one thing I, I noticed about Kodak Black is that the man is not afraid to give another artist or person their flowers you know what i'm saying look i noticed that about him and honestly like i, I think it's a stand-up move you know how sure yourself you got to be how confident in your abilities and your content that you got to be that you could shout someone else out 
You know what I'm saying? Even on your platform, that's big, man. That's huge. You know what I'm saying? See, that's why I got mad love for y'all in the comment section, man. You know what I mean? That that they have channels and show your support, man. Look, Willie D did it to me. You know what I'm saying? Ice T show show your boy some love on the gram. See, that joint made your boy nod quietly. You know what I mean? While trying to keep my cool. Now, once again, Kodak has shown some love to an artist. This time, it's Kendrick Lamar. Hey, yo, take a listen. Some people were surprised to see you on Kendrick's album, but what's that relationship been like, kind of collabing with him and making music together? Me and Kendrick, we got a lot of little things in common that people probably don't want to understand. Both of us, we Gemini's, and both of us, you know, we Hebrew Israelite. So me and him, you could just, we could talk, and he understand me beyond and what the internet theories. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like he got a different perception of me. He ain't count. Like he say, we gonna do something, we do it. No, Kendrick from the streets for real too. I oh, fuck with that boy. I got a lot of love for him. When you have conversations with him, what type of stuff does he say? Is he trying to put you on game as someone that's successful or? No, he put me on game. He didn't really want to see a nigga win for sure. We could have just did the song and it never came out. But he went as far as having me speak on the intros, the interludes and all this other stuff, having me do a poem on it. He already know where my intellect go. So he's like, man, I just want you to go in there and talk your shit. And he trusted me and I appreciate him for trusting me with his, with his album. Cause he ain't gotta do none of that. Hey yo, why the, why the other dude in that, in that interview <laughs> look like Kodak just yelled at him? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then he looks at us. I'm, like, I'm looking back like, look, you shouldn't have did it. You know what I'm saying? You know what you did, man. You know what I mean? That man had to check you, bro. You keep looking at me like I'm supposed to help you, man. You know what you did. Anyway, um, uh, what I have over here. Um, I right, listen, 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 listen. W listen, whenever I'm in class, right, and a student, like, asks a question, and then is like, well, now, nah, you know what? I don't even want to ask it. It's a stupid question. I always tell the kids, man. I say, yo, man, there aren't any stupid questions, man. You know what I'm saying? Only what? That's right, stupid people. Look, look, let me give you a classic illustration of a stupid person, okay? Someone saw G Herbo with his child in his arms, and the person said this, hey yo, take a listen. What? My son, a Yeah. And say, say something. I want you to say something crazy about my son. Ah, no. Now, I mean, here's the thing. Like, the man has a. I'm pretty sure, right? He said to G Herbo, how badly would I beat your ass? Look, you got to be a stupid father mucker to say that to a man holding a child in his arms, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be about the dumbest, most ignorant. And, and look, and you wouldn't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would actually think you smart, or you would probably think you gangster. And, 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 and maybe, look, maybe you got hands, but you got to be the king of clowns. Source, how dumb would he have to be, Source? How dumb? The imbecile. Yeah. Like the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. Yeah, yeah, right? He was farting in bathtubs, laughing your ass off. <clears throat> yeah. See, that's how dumb you'd have to be, man. You know what I mean? Look, look, look. I'm glad the artist kept his cool, man, because G Herbo was already facing five to eight years for some other insanity, man. So maybe, maybe the dude was trying to trick him out the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because right? sometimes people do that too, man. They try to bait you. You know, doing something and then and then and then you get stuck out there. You know what I'm saying? Now you're looking crazy. You know what I mean? Now they're trying now they're trying to give you slave like conditions. Uh let me do my shout outs real quick. I think I yeah, yeah, let me do my shout outs real quick. Do I got a shout out? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Um where we at over here, man? Wait, what's my time looking like? Ah yeah, yeah. Let me do my shout outs. Alright, check this out, man. Shout out to uh hey yo, man, G Bozak. G Bozak had me fall on the floor yesterday. It was one of those moments. When I be going through y'all comments, some of y'all be having me rolling, okay? G Herbo was talking about when we, uh, the Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian story yesterday. He said, the only kind of trauma that Pete Davidson is going through comes from having sex with a tire. Do you get what he just said, man? You know what I'm saying? Because all the body work that was done, no, no, yeah. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Yo, my boy can't have called a face. The face came through and said, yo, yo, you won't believe it, man. Uh, you have graduated to my lady telling me to cash you to the TV. Hey, yo, man, that joint blew my mind. And Lotto getting it came through and said, yo, it's official source. It's now on the list of shows I can't watch without the wifey. Kudos to you. Looks like you moving up in the world. Hey, yo, man. See, that's what I'm talking about right here. See, yo, check this out, man. I I'm going to tell y'all right now. Apparently, the folks in the celeb source 
comments? Y'all be picking some good women, man. Y'all got some good women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yo, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the lovely ladies that y'all be rocking with, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I'm talking about right here. I mean, that's a lady that that's a lady that, you know what I'm saying? That knows good content when she hears it. Uh let's get right back to it, wrap this bad boy up. I got to I got to go back, man. I got to go back to work. Uh, uh check this out, man. Look, 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 look. where we at over here? All right, look, the producer for the Oscars, Will Packer, who was responsible for movies like Think Like a Man and Ride Along and What Men Want, has issued a response to Will Smith's apology to Chris Rock. In the apology, um uh, Will Smith said I reached out to Chris Rock and the message that I came back uh, and the message that came back is that he's not ready to talk and when he is he'll reach out so I'll say to you Chris Rock I apologize to you my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk close quote <laughs> yo I remember I, I, I heard somebody was like yo I, I think it was Charleston White Charleston White was like yo man either stand on what you did or I shouldn't have got slapped in the first place you know what I'm saying? But then he added all like, someone got to die. You got to, I got to kill you. I was like, okay, you just took it a little over the edge, but I get what he's trying to say. Listen, man. Packer, right, the producer of the Oscars, he said, quote, uh, 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 you know, for the slap that you think is fake. He said, quote, I think that Will Smith's got three decades in this business of being somebody that is the exact opposite of who he was in those few seconds. And so I'm pulling for him, close quote. Hey, yo, man, that's, that's real, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, think about it. If a generally good natured, and, and, I, and I want you to have this conversation with somebody else. If a, if a generally good natured person does something morally bad, does that make them bad all of a sudden? Well, what about a generally bad natured person doing something good? Are they still bad? Are you following what I'm saying, man? I asked someone else that question and they were like, it don't matter. They bad both ways. You know what I'm saying? Which says a lot philosophically about that person. But look, let, let me not hurt you. Listen, Chris Rock stated, quote, everybody is trying to be an effing victim. If everybody claims to be a victim, Pete Davidson, then nobody will hear the real victims. Even me getting smacked by Suge Smith, <laughs> Suge Smith, I went to work the next day. I got kids. Anyone who says words has never, <laughs> word, anyone who says words hurt has never been punched in the face. Why you keep saying punched in the face? It was slap. You got slap, bro. You didn't get punched. Uh, check this out, man. Um, for this next one right here, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you something relatively. L listen, listen. You can't clown on this next story right here, cause I'm serious, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. You like no, no, no. You celeb. L listen, man. I'm trying to be serious right now. Okay. Let me remind you. Okay. Anything can happen to you between now and Saturday afternoon. Are you following what I'm saying, man? It's one thing when people do foolishness, but it's another thing when... Look, look, look just, just be careful on this next story on how you take it, okay? Because God don't like ugly. <laughs> You're like, now how come so many of these ugly people are rich? Look, I'm sorry, aren't you rich? Compared to many other people, don't you got a bag, man? Did you or did you not get paid? Look, there are people that would die for the bag you get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With your ugly ass. My bad. Anyway, listen, a picture has surfaced of Wendy Williams and it has people concerned about her well-being. Take a look at this picture right here of Wendy Williams at the surface. Ho hopefully Sauce got, got the right picture up, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Sauce is always holding us down. Uh, look, look, look. The caption read that she stepped out appearing disoriented and showing a trim frame. Now, look, not everyone will look the same at 58 years old. Let me just throw that out there. You you are coming up on 58. Now, I know some of y'all, some of y'all be coming through on the Insta and stuff like that. You 60 and, you know what I'm saying, 59, you looking fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying not everybody got that, okay? Look, you, look, you might not love a lot of what Wendy Williams has done. All I can say is, pray for her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, well, what about Carolyn Bryant? Should we pray for her too? Look, I, I guess so. I guess I guess if we have to, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I have a different prayer sometimes. You know what I'm saying? For, for people like that. Sometimes I'll pray for a person's health. Sometimes I'll pray for a person to get closer to the most high. But every once in a while, like when I'm really struggling with my morality, my prayer is, may the Lord reward them according to their works. You know what I'm saying? But I got to damn near despise you to pray that. You know what I mean? Like I got to really be in a struggle. Or as baby would say, struggle. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, 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 look. In the picture, man, she was walking. I think that's a good sign. You know what I mean? I didn't see nothing to her face, no tubes to her face. She was walking. She was, she was walking and she was smiling. You know what I'm saying? And um, apparently she, 
I don't think she got work. Well, she did, well, I don't, I don't want to go there. Anyway, and finally, let's wrap this bad boy up, man. As you already know, the game ain't playing when it comes to his dramatic project. Dramatic is set to drop uh, tonight, as a matter of fact, right? August twelfth, right? August twelfth, Friday, whatever. That's tonight, okay? Um, at twelve o'clock, the game posted. This is what he posted. He go posted quote dramatic the real album of the year okay close quote um matter of fact over the back up he said the real album of the year out everywhere midnight friday august 12th i promise i'm going 30 for 30 no skips as hip boy would say it's a 30 clip close quote why my car sound like it's over here um hey look, 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 look the game is hyping up his joint crazy something crazy like i'm waiting for the album to drop and if you know like i know too much anticipation for your product takes away from the product sometimes you know what i'm saying that's like part of it uh now, now here's the thing i do love the song he did with with kanye west that song easy that joins on my playlist and every time i play it it's a short song but every time i play that song i gotta play that song like four or five times in a row because for me the song is just too damn short and it's too freaking hot you know what i mean so if every song is hot like easy the game's album will be on rotation in my playlist like without a doubt and i'm looking i'm honestly like a lot of times i say i'll listen to an album i'm really looking forward to listening to this album you know what i'm saying oh but here's here's the other story though that came out with the game now there's been word right that on his album he took a clap at eminem's daughter Haley. okay now, he did make a statement. Somebody posted um, a picture of uh, Eminem with his daughter. It says, Eminem's daughter, Haley, then and now. Peter Quillen uh, posted that. He said, P.S., she's 26, okay? Um, the game act jumped in there and said, because she rap? That's nothing crazy. He just said, but can she rap? And something tells me she can't She can't rap like Eminem. I bet you she can. You know what I mean? Although it would be ill if she came out and her, her lyrics was hotter than M's. Like, wouldn't that be wild? It's funny, too. I was listening to EPMD, too, with Nas and Eminem and EPND, man. And I was just listening to the joint, man, because I think it was No Life Shaq. No, I was watching No Life Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Who was listening to it. And his reaction to that joint was hilarious. You know what I mean? I, I, I couldn't. I was. When Eminem's part went on, the looks on his face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, um, uh. So Genius reported that the lyrics about M and uh, uh, Haley would be on Game's album. And Genius reported the lyrics say something like, got Haley in black panties, legs open, and yada yada, M a pro at taking a knee, D sucking his old life and all this other. That's what the game, that's what Genius said the game posted. But the game came out and said, all of that is cap, don't buy it. He said those lyrics are fake. Take a listen to what the game had to say about the clap at Eminem. Take a listen. Uh, my lyrics, the fucking uh, Black Slim Shady lyrics, bro. They made my lyrics. I didn't write that garbage shit. All right? You better know better than that. When game come, that shit going to be official. There ain't going to be no lyrics. So uh, to rap genius out there, do y'all due diligence before y'all get to throwing shit up. Fake news and shit, fake lyrics. That made my lyrics. That man was like, yo, that made my lyrics, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't write that garbage-ish. Y'all know better than that. You know what I mean? And then he goes, um, it ain't going to be no lyrics to rap genius out there. Um, do your due di diligence. Do your due diligence before you get to throwing ish up. Fake news and ish. Fake lyrics. It ain't my lyrics. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yo, man. Um. Yeah, do your due diligence, man. You ain't supposed to be putting fake stuff out there. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you see me putting fake stuff out there? And if I did, don't I be telling you I'm sorry? You know what I'm saying? And you let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't I be apologizing like a mofo out here, man? You know what I'm saying? I always be telling y'all, my bad. My bad, I was rude. I'm saying, don't I be, I, like, I be trying to be, I be trying to be. Anyway, you let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb. So, oh, yeah, by the way, man, once you hear the game's album, if those of y'all that are up late tonight, man, let me know what you think about it. Post it in the comments below if you think um, the game album is fire or, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if it's water. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.